Scotty, when James goes down, you know, when he's trying to drive the lane, um, what what caused him, you know, to take that too wide of a step? And and uh, you know, Cal Perry said that he didn't want to take a timeout in the final possession, and he wouldn't have done it anyway. So, can you just talk about that final possession? Uh, yeah, I switched on to Harrison, and I I just wanted to play the best defense I could without fouling and putting him to the line. And uh, he handed it off to Young, and Frazier did a good job of. Uh, staying with him, and he, he fell, so that was that. Other questions? Raise your hand. All right, let's go to the right side, middle aisle right here. Uh, yeah, Michael, can you just talk about um, switching over on that, that play defensively and, and also for Scotty, the feeling when you dove on the ground and knew that the clock was about to expire? And Michael? Um, yeah, like Scotty said, we did a great job of um, communicating. He played good defense, and then I was just able to stay with him, and he fell. Scotty? Um, last time when we played Kentucky at our place, there was a loose ball that I didn't dive on. And Will and Casey yelled at me for not diving on the ball. And uh, I felt bad. And so I thought about that. And there was no way I wasn't going to dive on it for this game. There's a question in the back left. Scotty and Patrick, Kentucky starts four freshmen. You guys start four seniors. Do you able to do this as a you know, as a senior class, what does that mean, first of all? And second of all, do you think that played out at all during the game where, where you guys, your experience showed and their experience maybe didn't? Scotty, you go first. Um, I don't know how you can, like, tell that or perceive that to be happening. But uh, I just know that us as a team, we just we try to stick together. And maybe that's our experience from, from being in games and losing those games just – Stay together, stay on the same page, huddle after every loose, uh, after every dead ball, and uh, try to really focus on defense. The same was for Patrick. Well, I think uh, every every uh, team is different, <clears throat> even if guys are coming back. Uh, this team that we're on now is far different from the, the first three teams I've been on, and them coming in as well, we've experienced so much, even though it's our our, our senior year, and I think that experience is a, a huge factor. They might not have that as being freshmen. I think they have endured a lot, especially a lot of uh, criticism as coming in for being, you know, high caliber potential one and done players. But you know, I, I commend them on on uh, how they just kept fighting today and didn't worry that we were we were up on them. They just kept fighting and, and uh, threw a punch back. But we were able to endure that and uh, come away with a win. We're going to go to Coach Donovan uh, real quickly. Let him uh, give some opening thoughts on the game, and then we'll go back with your players. Well, you know, I think it was a great game. Um, you know, I, I thought we played played very well in the game. Uh, I thought the, the, the thing that hurt us in the game was our free throw shooting hurt us and us fouling them too much in the second half. And then the game got really slowed. Uh, I thought when the game started going up and down the floor, it was really in our favor, and we were able to build a, 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 pretty, a pretty good lead. Um, but, you know, give them credit because they also made some threes late that really cut into our lead. And we had some empty possessions that allowed them to kind of quickly get back into the game. All right, questions back now for the student athletes. Uh, let's, we got a microphone right there. Go to the middle aisle right there, and then we'll come back down the front and get you. Uh, would you, all three of you talk about you guys had the huddle there when they called the timeout, and then you guys kind of had a little huddle before you got out on the court. What did you say to each other during that during that little huddle before y'all went out there? Scotty, the last possession? Uh, we just said, everybody uh, box your man out uh, so they don't hurt us on the second shot. Uh, just, yeah, don't run to the rim like, like we did at UConn. The same for Patrick? Uh, ditto that. It's exactly word for word what we said. <laughs> Anything to add down there? Nah. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, uh, let's go over here to the right side, and then we'll come back to the middle right here. Okay, this is for Scotty and Patrick. Uh, this was a very different game than the first two uh, in this tournament. What, uh, what let it get away there for a while? What, what happened that uh, changed things around so much and let them back in? Scotty? Um, they did a good job of uh, fast breaking when we either took bad shots or, or had a turnover or got shots blocked. And... Uh, our shots weren't falling. Uh, I think our offense got a little stagnant, and and they they just made play more plays than we did. Patrick. Yeah, I think uh, we got a little stagnant on the offensive side, which led to a lot of 
transition, easy run out, baskets for them. And then we uh, fou were fouling a lot in the second as well as in the first half. But, uh, you know, we just tried to figure out that we weren't we weren't getting things going on offense as well uh, as well as we were in the first half. So we just tried to lock in and focus on defense to stop that run and, and stop the bleeding a little bit. Can you just talk about in your huddle um, uh, before the last play, what, I mean, did you assume that they were going to try to drive and, and get fouled? I mean, that's what they do. I mean, they, they're, they're an aggressive driving team. Uh, that's what I thought they would do is try to drive it, get it on the glass, try to offensive rebound it, get a foul. Um, you know, Harrison, who John put the ball in his hands, he's probably the best driver, and they kind of they put Young over on the, on the right wing, so he was driving to his left. Uh, Scotty did a great job, in my opinion, just keeping him in front and never let him get loose. And when he, Young was coming so fast, um, you know, he got maybe a little bit off balance. Um, it was a hard play. Young was coming so fast off out of the corner to his left hand, he lost balance. Um, you know, I, I didn't have a good enough angle to see if he would have kept his balance could he got down the lane. I thought our, excuse me, I thought our team, um, th those guys were pretty locked in when the ball got loose and made a great effort play to kind of, and it, and it expired. Um, but I thought the whole key to the play was Wilbekin on the ball. That, that's where it all started, cause right, 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 when it, right when it started, because they held the ball for till about six seconds, then they went. And then when he went, he tried to make a couple multiple moves to get by Scotty. He couldn't get by him. And that was the key because he gets to the front of the rim, and now you got to bring help over there. And when you eliminate penetration on a play like that, it really makes it hard to, you know, for the offense. I mean, the offense can break that seam and get the ball up in the glass. Now there's all sorts of different things that come into play, offensive rebounds, tip-ins, fouls. But because they never could get the ball down the lane, that was the key. That, that was the, the most important part of the play. Okay, let's go to the back left. Also, just a point of information, Coach Calipari is at the uh, Kentucky locker room. Go ahead. <coughs> Coach, you start four seniors. Kentucky starts four freshmen. Were there points in that game where you maybe saw a little bit more experience from your guys than, than Kentucky's? Yeah, you know, I, I, I never look at it that way. You know, they, they, they've got whatever it is, 30-something games under their belt. Uh, they're all high-profile players. They've played on national TV. They've played against the best competition. They're good players. They've played on the road they've played at home um so you know i maybe you know in november you know you could maybe mention that now i'm sure from john's perspective there's things that they need to grow and get better at and learn from but i've never felt like playing against kentucky you know the the last three times that you know wow this is a very very young young team who doesn't know what they're doing you know I, I don't feel that way at all I mean they're a they're they're a very very good team and they do what they do they drive it hard they offensive rebound it and they tr transition when they can I mean that's pretty much what they do it's not very complicated on offense um, they're going to try to space you and put the ball in one of those guys hands and and go and I, and I thought we did a really good job on Randall tonight um, it was interesting we guarded the three-point line really well but I thought in the game they made some timely threes late that really got them back in the game. We had some empty possessions. We had some turnovers that got them out in the break. And then our free throw shooting was terrible. And we put them to the free throw line way too much. And that's why the game was so close. I mean, I think if we could have done a better job from the free throw line and not fouled as much, being up whatever it was, 14 or 16, you know, we could have, not saying we won, won, won by that much, but we could have kept some space and some distance. And, you know, we, we were never able to do that. And the game got slowed. You know, I, I liked it when the game was going up and down the floor, but we never really, because we went through a stint, we couldn't score. We never could get the press on. It was just, you know, it wasn't a lot of up and down, you know, to the game the last eight minutes. Got a question on the middle aisle on the right, and then we'll come to the left aisle. Billy, does winning the regular season title and the tournament title carry its own set of uh, sense of accomplishment? Is it, what's what's the difference between the two? And then, you know, winning both in the same season obviously yeah. is as good as it gets. Well, make no mistake about it. Today was a road game for us. These guys won on the road again. You know, um, it was a, clearly a road game for our team. Um, you know, we battled and fought and and, and hung in there um, even when things weren't going well for us. But I think we tried to look at it as two parts. You know, obviously the, the the regular season SEC is 18 games, and you know we tried to put that to bed and and then get ready for the tournament, uh, having a week off. Um, and then it was another another you know uh, opportunity. And 
you know, it's one of those things where I think people come into conference tournaments with a renewed sense of spirit, enthusiasm, and excitement because it's neutral. There's something on the line in terms of a conference tournament championship, but there's also seeding on the line, and there's also, you know, some teams getting to the NCAA tournament. You know, there's a lot, a lot goes on there. So, you know, a lot of times people are critical of, of conference tournaments, but for basketball, you know, I'm sure Missouri wanted a conference tournament. I'm sure Arkansas wanted a conference tournament. I'm sure all those teams wanted that, just another chance to play. So I, I, I do think it's a, it's a different feeling, a different set of circumstances when you get into one and done.